A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, December 27th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. A woman from Singapore who was hiking with her husband on Pekin Hill Trail in Minnewaska State Park in the town of Rochester slipped and fell 70 feet from a cliff and died, state police said. The accident just after 1 p.m. last Friday occurred when Nur Asa Bitin M.D. Akbar, who was 39, and her husband, 41-year-old Abdul Rauf bin Mohammed Saeed, who was 41, stopped to take photographs at the edge of the cliff, and Binti M.D. Akbar lost her footing and fell some 70 feet. A state police helicopter was called in to recover the woman, who was transported to Ellenville Regional Hospital, where she succumbed to her injuries, police said. Police in Warwick are investigating the discovery Tuesday afternoon of a body found in a drainage ditch off Orange County Route 1 in Pine Island. Police Chief John Rader says the male victim had been there for some time. The body of the man, who appeared to be in his mid-30s, was partially submerged in the ditch. The chief said the cause of death should be determined by an autopsy, which is scheduled to be performed today. Veteran Dutchess County staffer and current acting county executive Bill O'Neill will not be leaving county government on January 1st when Sue Serino takes over as the top elected official. His retirement takes effect at the end of March and he plans to stay on as an advisor to the Serino administration in its early days. The county's contract with the private operator that runs its resource recovery waste to energy operation expires in 2027, and O'Neill wants to assist in developing plans for the future. What I want to do is is get the RRA on a path that we kind of know what we're doing, make sure that it's not going to uh, cost the county anything, and then uh, figure out a, a way forward. O'Neill also wants to advance the county's plans to develop a youth facility on the site of the old YMCA building in Poughkeepsie. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Middletown City Court Judge Richard Gurton will hang up his municipal robes on January 1st and assume a new role as an Orange County Court Judge. The longtime attorney was elected unopposed in November to the vacancy left with William DeProspo resigning earlier this year. Gurton, who's been Middletown City Court Judge for some seven years, will now be handling a different kind of cases. City Court, I handled criminal and all of the civil cases, which could include, you know, the landlord tenant, small claims, uh, traffic matters, city code violations. All of that, um, even parking issues, whereas on, on the county court level, I'll be handling you know, felonies, you know, major crimes, um, and uh, I think I'm going to be uh, dealing with gun permit applications as well. During his career, Gurton has been in private practice for some 35 years, as well as serving as Middletown City Corporation Counsel and attorney for other municipalities as well. People spanning several generations turned out to celebrate Kwanzaa Tuesday afternoon at the Galleria at Crystal Run in the town of Wallkill. Bishop James Rollins, who led the festivities, noted Kwanzaa is an American holiday that celebrates the African roots of its African-American population. A Kwanzaa celebration gives the community an opportunity to recognize that the principles of Kwanzaa are essential to our survival. And the seven principles of Kwanzaa begin with unity and uh, they end with faith. 
Bishop Rollins said now more than ever, American society needs unity. A crash involving three passenger vehicles and two tractor trailers at mid-morning yesterday shut down Interstate 84 eastbound between Exit 4 at Greenville and Exit 1 in Port Jervis. The accident occurred on Greenville Mountain at around 10.20 a.m., with the reports from the scene saying there was possible entrapments. The extent of the injuries were not immediately known, however, not thought to be life-threatening. Heavy fog may have contributed to the accident. Traffic was diverted to local roads. A total of nine people were injured when a 2020 Kia Telluride SUV traveling northbound on Orange County Route 17 in the town of Crawford entered the intersection with Route 52 and struck a 2013 Audi S4 that was traveling westbound on Route 52. The crash occurred just after 10 p.m. on Christmas night. Crawford police say the Kia was driven by a 42-year-old woman and occupied by seven passengers, three adults ages 75, 42, and 40, and four children ranging in ages between four and nine. The Acura was driven by a 21-year-old man who was alone in the vehicle. Police say all nine people were transported to area hospitals with one adult and one child from the Kia in critical condition. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.